Ahem. <clears throat> Today, I'll tell you the story of the lost book of prophecies. This prophetic book was a mysterious tome full of stories of future events. Of course, many people crave this book, wishing to glimpse their futures. But no person after painting this amazing book ever found happiness. The reason? The book held frightful secrets not meant for people's eyes. That book came to be called the Dark Prognosticus and was sealed away. This is the tale of that forgotten book's last owner. It is a tale of love. Oh, oh, what happened to me? What is this place? <laughs> oh, you're awake, princess. Huh? Bowser? I keep forgetting that. You rule all oh, hail, you rule Oh you rule Bowser! Oh my god, I peach! Hi peach! How oh, hail you rule peach! Nice dude! Oh, what's going on here? <clears throat> um count yeah, um so preparations are complete. Hmm, then it shall be begun by Count Black. <laughs> Bowser, ferocious and fearsome, evil king of the Koopas. Do you take Peach to be your lawfully wedded wife till your games be over? <laughs> Will I marry Peach? Are you kidding me? The answer is yes. Peach, noble princess, pure of heart. Do you take Bowser to be your lawfully wedded husband till your games be over? Now wait just a second! You explain to me what is going on right now! <laughs> is it not obvious? This is your wedding, princess! But, but why in the world am I marrying Bowser? <laughs> hey, no gripes from this side of the altar, black old boy! I don't get the details, but the Count here has gone to a lot of troubles planning this. <laughs> Just relax. We'll get married and we'll be in love to awesome. To be, and it'll be awesome, finally. N no, and who picked this dress out? It's awful. Take me back to my castle immediately. Uh, yeah, um, t being rude to the esteemed Count is sort of frowned upon, okay? So yeah, Princess, I'm gonna need you to answer the Count now. Do you, Peach, take Bowser to be your wedded, wedded husband till your games be over? Uh, no. Gee, you sure are a fighter. But yeah, no one withstands my super hypnosis. Sorry. I do, says it now, okay? What? What in the world? Hey, what am I doing here? Huh? Is that Princess Peach over there? And that guy is... Hey! <laughs> Black. Yes, oh, uh, precisely as written in the Dark Prognosticus. Already it is unleashed. The chaos heart. Oh, yeah, um, congratulations, Count. Halt! Oh, sorry. Halt! And just who are you, ask Count Black. Oh, oh no! I don't forget my name. Don't forget my name, you schedules. Just watch as Luigi punishes you for your badness. Here I go! Yeah, I'm gonna need you to stop right this second, okay? If you're interrupt if you interrupt this now. 
here's where Luigi rescues Princess Peach. A. Um, yeah, so you are all right, Count? Fools, pointless acts like these will earn you only pain from Count Black. Very well, as the Chaos Heart is secured, this ragtag group now lacks use. Um, yeah, so Count, this means you may turn to a new page of Dark Prophecies. Open your mouth, darkness! Consume everything and destroy all worlds as told in the prophecy. Black! Okay, so normally I don't voice act things, but uh, this is Super Paper Mario, and I love this story. It's something that, it's one of the few weird Mario games that I got behind when I was younger, and actually, uh, it sort of inspired me to like a lot of the different Mario games. So, I feel like this is something that I could totally get behind and trying to show you guys, and I just, it's a, gr it's a great game. So, it's a tale of crazy adventures, and I got decently far in this game. I think I got to like the last world or something, but I haven't played this game in years, and I, I played it when it first came out, and it's like four or five years after that. So, we're gonna jump right into this. I just made literally the file, and then I wanted to voice act the introduction for you, because I normally don't get to voice act anything. And I figured this could be something fun for me to actually get you into me trying to talk to you guys when I don't actually have to, you know, talk to you guys. I can just sort of voice act and have fun with it because I don't get to do this much. So we're just going to get right into the introductions. <laughs> well, sure is peaceful today, eh, bro? Makes a guy feel lucky having a peaceful day. Yep, real peaceful. It's so peaceful, it's almost a little bit boring. It makes you just want to kerblue, you know? Some kind of shocking event. Hmm. Oh, at Princess Peach's place, maybe? That'd be cool, huh, bro? Maybe we should go visit Mushroom Castle. Has been a while, I'm sure the princess would be happy to see us. Oh, sorry. Mario, help! <laughs> Tone. What, what happened? Why are you so crazy? It, it's shocking! Mushroom Castle raided Princess Peach stolen. What? Why? That's ridiculous. Who in the world would do such a thing? What? Wait a second. Yeah, I think I've got it, bro. This must be the work of that guy. That bad guy. I won't stand for this. We'll have to sneak into his castle and rescue Princess Peach. Let's go, bro. Thankfully, Toad doesn't have too many lines, because that voice is, like, hard to do. We're counting on you, Mario Bros! Hopefully these voices actually sound different, and I'm not just, like, aimlessly trying to make people sound cool. Going nasally with Luigi, Black is just evil, Bowser's sort of dumb in a sense. <laughs> Listen well, my elite minion task force. It's time to initiate my awesome plot to invade Mushroom Castle. Today is the day that I make my beloved Princess Peach all mine. And if that weren't awesome enough, I'll also stomp her little mustache buddies. <laughs> yeah! I'm just gonna let this play out because I can't voice that many people simultaneously. Yeah, Bowser, we're gonna do this. We're gonna attack. <laughs> We're gonna attack you jokers are the best. Hey, who are these hairy guys in the back? We shave around here, minions. Mario and Luigi? How, how'd you guys get in here? I feel like Bowser's voice is already starting to change. What, my front gate was open? How many times have I told these idiots if you're gonna lock, if you're, if you're the last in, lock the gate. 
Quite you big bouncer, we know you can have Princess Peach. Now where'd you put her? Where I wait, what? We're only now about to launch our attack. Mario, help! Now I know that's Princess Peach. Pr Princess Peach! <laughs> Black! Your princess has been taken by Count Black! <laughs> you, you wait! By who? By me, Count Black! The chosen executor of the Dark Prognosticus is Count Black. The fine fellow prophesied to come to this dimension is also Count Black. I'll tell you, it doesn't make a little bit of sense. Count Black! Enough! Release Princess Peach right now! I'm on a schedule over here. Count Black says never! The princess is integral to fulfilling the prophecies. She will be brought to Castle Black and used to destroy all worlds by Count Black. Destroy all worlds? Well, he's a force field. Isn't that just nice? And I'm swirling. That's fantastic. I'm just, yeah, oh, that hurt. Big bro! This man deserves ridicule. The weakling cannot face Count Black. Hey, here's a thought. You calm down and free princess, the princess, or else! <laughs> Your princess should not be returned by Count Black. In fact, Bowser, evil king of the Koopas, Count Black will take you too. <laughs> Black! Uh. Man, I'm glad I have to talk to him about him. Whoa, I forgot all about this. This is insane. Wait, where he got Luigi too. Isn't that just fantastic? <laughs> Black, Count Black's preparations are now in order. All that remains is for the dimensional void to appear as foretold in the prophecy. <laughs> Black. Okay, so, um... Basically, introductions are, uh, interesting. Mario! Mario! Oh, where the hell am I? Okay. Um, who the hell are you? Are, are you awake? Uh, my name is Tippy. I am what you, what is known as a pixie. A uh, sort of fairy? Mario, I came to find you. Uh, and who the hell are you? I'm no enemy. You met Count Black, and he captured a princess and an evil king. Is this not so? Uh, yeah. Did you not miss the giant vortex? That, then that means Count Black is even now beginning to form the void. We haven't much time. You must come with me. Yes, if your friends are to be saved, you must come. I'm, you know, I'm for Tippy. I'm just gonna go with my voice because she's basically the narrator of the story. Let us go. I know she's supposed to be a girl, but, like, I'm just gonna voice her as my voice, because she's the narrator and she's gonna be the most common voice, so give me a chance to, like, be my own voice. Oh, yeah, this, this guy. It's... Merlin? Merlin? I, I, I think? Oh, ho, ho, ho! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Back to... Mm, hold on, I need to voice... Uh, how am I gonna voice Merlin? I don't know, that was too, like... Black, um. Okay. <clears throat> well, well, well. And who back so soon, Tippy? And who might this be? Red shirt, blue overalls, and a magnificent mustache? Tippy, you have truly outdone yourself. He matches his description of the hero in the light prop prognosticus perfectly. And his name is Mario. Me? Uh, wait, me? I welcome you, Mario. This is the town of Flipside. You must have come far from the Mushroom Kingdom of your dimension. Of course, our fair flip side is no, in no dimension at all. No, it is between dimensions. My name? Merlin. I am a descendant of the ancients who created this town. I busy myself studying musty ancient texts at, to forestall the end of the worlds, of all worlds. Uh, ah, you want to know about the end of the worlds? What's happening, you ask? So Tippy has not yet told you, I gather. Well then, Mario, the answer hangs above you. That dark purpley thing. Right. 
You see the gathering darkness in the sky. It is the hole in the very dimensional fabric of space. Such a strange phenomenon. It is near. Is it near or far? No, no. It may appear small now, but it will only grow. And in the end, it will swallow all existence, all worlds, all dimensions. This void was created by our enemy, Count Black, who wields a dark prognosticus. A fair and lovely princess, a furious monster king. The union of these two will call forth the Chaos Heart, the consumer of worlds. So that's the heart from the beginning introduction that you saw. Don't worry about it, it's fine. And the Chaos Heart will ravage the sky and so bring forth the void. Yes, the passage Tippy just quoted is from the light prognosticus of my ancestors. The book also says this, the void will swallow all. Not can stop it unless the one protected by the dark power is destroyed. The hero with the power of the eight pure hearts will rise to this task, so it is written. Pure heart! I don't know. This is one of the eight pure hearts. You are surely the hero who spoken of in the pages of Light Prognosticus. You are the only one who can defeat Count Black and save all worlds. Mario, take this and save all worlds from destruction. Mm, I'm really tempted to hit it now, because okay, I'll tell you a story. Um, for the sake of being the curate, the cur courageous hero, I'll say yes. But if you say no enough time, he'll basically say, he'll basically say. Well, then the world is due, and the game will end. It's actually hilarious. And I just hit no a bunch of times because usually games are like, you gotta, you gotta do it. Like, they force you into it. No, this game is like, if you don't say yes, then we're just gonna end your game. Yeah, have fun with that, jerk. I love the... It's just like, the game is great. Excellent. You're truly the hero of the Book of Legend. My eyes never deceive. So, <clears throat> Mario, our brave hero, take this. Uh... Yeah! I got a heart. <laughs> I don't know what it does, but I got one! Yay! The pure heart has been trust into your possession. Now, great hero Mario, your first task awaits. You must take this pure heart. You must place it in the heart pillar of this town. Tippy will lead you there. Return to me when you are through with this task. This way. When blah, blah blah blah, we know how to place. Let's go. Whee! I absolutely love this game, and we're just gonna go to I think it's like some tower of sorts, and it's basically uh, supposedly in the middle of the town where I'm gonna place this pure heart. It should be like the first stage to unlocking secrets and blah blah blah. Um, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna end it up here. So with that, we are starting off the new series of Super Paper Mario. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. I know it's sort of a lot of reading of text, but it's the introduction. Like any beginning, we got a lot of text to read and we're gonna enjoy what is to come. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.